I thought that today we would do a little bit different of a video. <laughs> this is Allie, if you don't, haven't met Howie before. Um, I thought I would do a follow me around uh, on what I do typically on a filming day. Bless you. Do you feel better now? Did you have a sneezy? No, I don't normally talk to you like in a puppy baby voice, do I? Anyway, I thought it would be fun to show you kind of a behind the scenes of what I do with filming and what I put into this channel. Um, it actually is a lot of time and effort. So what happens typically is on the weekend, if you're not familiar, I do have a full-time job and I work, um, gosh, I'm away from the house at least nine and a half hours a day. Um, usually I work from seven to four, but that's not including like the, the commute, which isn't very far. Um, five days a week and then I also have a four-year-old how he's gonna chew on his bone I hope you guys don't mind um, I'll show you is that yummy <laughs> so please ignore the dog chewing noise that's back here but so what will happen on the weekends is if my husband's available to he will take my daughter out and they'll go run errands do Costco um, take her to the park as like a daddy daughter thing and then it gives me t some time to film now I do prepare a lot I'll show you guys I don't just come at you with you know randomness and I think a lot of you have noticed that I prepare what I want to talk about I like to outline it and it's not scripted per se it's just I make notes this is everything I have a calendar in here and then I have all the content that I want to talk about because I like I want my content to be relevant I want you to get something out of it um, and I want to ensure that what I'm giving you is not just me yapping at a camera uh, which is one of my biggest pet peeves is people just yapping at a camera like you're dumb enough to not understand a concept. So I know you guys are way more intelligent probably than me. So, you know, giving the, the information and then, you know, adding a little bit to it. Anyway, I like to put my thoughts down on paper. Um, I am getting ready to film today just for a little bit. Um, if anybody is curious, this is the and this is another trick too. See, this this is what you see here, and then <laughs> these are pajama pants. You are balancing very precarious, precar precariously? How do you say that word? Anyway, if anybody is curious what I film with, this that you're on right here is the Canon G7X Mark II, which I purchased in 2018, and I filmed with for three years. Now I film, and the thing about this is, um, if you're vlogging like this kind of a thing it's fine but if you're doing a regular like sit down video then you can hear the camera lens um, come in and out you also cannot mount an external mic to it so the sound isn't all that great how did I learn about all this stuff well YouTube um, so this is the camera I recently purchased and it is the Sony ZV-1 um, opens up like this and it is actually a really good camera and then um, this is the uh, rodeo roadie mic um that i attach to it so when i'm preparing i'll just attach this what we're also going to do today is um i am going to make some chickpea salad what that it well chick like the chicks chicken uh, the chicken of the sea like chicken salad or tuna salad but with chickpeas i'm going to show you my recipe for that it's delicious and i like to make it a little bit earlier in the day just so that it sits because the longer it sits well not longer it sits but the more it sits to combine the flavors it's probably going to be better for tonight and then i also on pinterest found this idea to make cash envelopes um with scrapbooking paper and laminating sheets and i have all that so we're going to attempt to do that today in that video. And then I think I want to give you also a look at the garden because everything is growing up. So it's just a uh, behind the scenes kind of a show you what we do during the day. Uh, my weekends are definitely not relaxing. Um, I, and I'm fine with that because I enjoy doing this um, for you. And then I also enjoy what it is that I'm doing um, behind the scenes with my, my small business. So let me show you the setup the behind the scenes of uh, what you see when i film a video this is my bedroom so that's the view that you normally get and that's on our backyard but i try to open and get as much natural light as i can and then i have these two lights it's a whole situation like i have to crawl over the bed to even get back here i have to move the lamp off the bedside table so 
and then I'll set my camera up there on the tripod. But I like, I like filming here. It's just nice and comfortable. So this is setup number two. I am only filming two videos today um, because if I talk too much, it'll, my throat will get sore. So um, I try to film maybe two to three at a time and then um, you know edit them as we go. But I did change locations and this is my daughter's room. I love it in here um, because this is the coziest chair ever. I'll show you. I have this little pillow, but this is my favorite chair. Um, this is the chair that we got for her nursery and it was a rocker. Um, we chose this pattern, which we didn't find out what we were having. So we chose a very neutral pattern. And then this chair also came where you could convert it from a rocker into a regular chair. So we are going to keep it in here for a little while longer because we still sit in here and read books to, for, with her. And then eventually we're gonna move it to our office area. But in the meantime, I love it. And I think that the uh, purple walls is fun for uh, filming and it's just cozy. And if you're wondering, this purple is a um, Sherwin-Williams twirling girl. We probably tried five to six different purples to get what I wanted. I didn't want a red based purple or a blue based purple or a pink based purple. This one is way better and it's like a gray based. Um, so it, it just goes perfectly with um, the white trim. So let's film video number two and I think then I'm going to go and do the uh, cash envelopes next. I have finished my two videos, yay me. If you hear that tapping underneath the table, that's how we, um, we're in the dining room. I am going to make these cash envelopes. So this, I will link this down below, um, this website. It's called makingsensematter.com. And she's actually got a lot of good information on here. Um, but to make these cash, cash envelopes, she says you need a laminator, which I've had this, laminating sheets, scrapbook paper, which I've got this one, here, a dollar bill, don't worry, I do have a dollar bill, a bone folder, which I do not have, and um, I think <laughs> I think that's just like something you, you push on to fold something, and then a pen or Sharpie. Well, I guess I need to get a pen or a Sharpie because all I have is a, a, a what do you call that, a pencil. Uh, so, we gotta start by warming up the laminator. While it warms up, select a sheet of paper you'll want to use. I used 12 by 12 scrapbook paper from Michaels and was able to get two envelopes out of one sheet. Using your paper trimmer, cut your scrapbook paper to six and a half, be six and a half by six. You can make your envelopes to be seven by six to give yourself a little more wiggle room. Yeah, I think I'll make them seven by six, but I didn't because seven didn't fit in my wallet. Well. Six wouldn't, six and a half wouldn't fit in my wallet either because I have a little wallet. I'm guessing she has one like this. So let's cut the paper and uh, go from there. Okay, we have selected our paper and I used my paper cutter. These things are just handy to have on hand, these paper cutters. Um, anyway, so I chose this color here, this little gemstone here. <laughs> I just think these are fun. It was, um, the scrapbook paper we had is just like these little mermaids and colors, little mermaid shells. Um, so I am going to now, it says to take them and fold them along the, so these are seven by six, seven inches this way and six inches this way. So that when you put your money in and it's folded like this, it'll be like that. So. Um, and it says to use a bone folder, which is like a, um, I guess a, uh, a thing that you use to fold things <laughs> for lack of a better explanation. But I'm just using the flat edge of the scissors right here. So we're gonna fold all of these and then um, I think there's special instructions on how you actually put it in the laminator. Um, and the other thing is, uh, it says to use the Sharpie to write on the inside of it what you want that cash envelope to be for. So uh, for me, I have two cash categories. I have um, other and then I have groceries, but I have a few more because I'm just, you know, making extras and, you know, if you're in my family and you want one, I'll send them to you. <laughs> but um, 
And who knows if I screw one up, because that's a possibility as well. So the next thing you do is you take the laminating sheets. The family's home too, if that's what you hear. And you gotta make sure that you know which way you did the fold, like this, um, and put them the same direction, because that's how you're gonna get into them after you laminate them. And it says you can fit, like she fits three in one, but I've just done two in, in one. And so you do it like that, and then run it through the laminator two times. Then she says to cut them, but there's like an air bubble between the um, laminating and between the paper to leave plenty of room between those two. So let's see if we can figure this out. I'm gonna cut around them and then I think that you then cut on the side that is your opening, cut right up to the edge of the paper so it will open. At this point, you can send the envelopes back through the paper laminator one more time for good measure, but you don't have to. If your envelope happens to separate, you can also send them through. All right, well, let's see if I can cut these right and see what they look like. So it worked, and I used the paper cutter just to trim everything out. So what you do is then you cut around the um, edge here, the, the three edges to make sure you leave enough room between the bubble and the um, laminating sheet. And then you trim really close so that the top part opens up. Let's see, here you go. Like that. And then this becomes your cash envelope that you just stick your money in. Like that. I think it's so fun. So I've got my other and my grocery one. So I just used a pen because the Sharpie actually bled through, but again, you can use a label maker if you have it. And then these are really, really thin to be able to um, fit into your wallet. I like this. Now, are they gonna last forever? Probably not because the inside is not laminated. I bet you could probably figure out a way to do both, but I think it's still a fun idea. So now I am going to have some lunch and then we are going to make the, chick, the chickpea chicken salad. So I wanna show you guys my, our garden as well. Um, I haven't shown it to you. It's been a while, I think. So let me show you what we have planted back here. This is a four by eight garden. And um, inside it, we actually did this. What we do is basically you pour the water in here and it's got a tube system and pond lining. So it's just easier, more efficient to water. Um, this is actually my daughter. Uh, we planted an apple seed from one of her apples. And then we also have some Venus fly traps here. My husband used to have a lot of these. There's a little butterfly moth thing flying around. We actually planted corn this year for the first time. I have no idea how that's gonna turn out, but we shall see. Um, and these are all, what are these, okra? Yeah, there. And then tomatoes. And then I think we've got squash, two squash and one tomato. And we will do another, um, We'll do pumpkins later on, but for now we're going to do that. So that's our little garden. It has been a fun day. We have been outside. We have had lunch. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. So now we are going to make the chickpea chicken salad or tuna salad. It's, you know, it's just chickpeas. There's no chicken or tuna in it. But basically the first thing you're going to do is take two cans of chickpeas, um, or the equivalent of you know dry chickpeas to whatever two cans would equal. Rinse them and then dry them. And then you can take a buffalo sauce. This is the one that I am using here. I would probably say you don't wanna to put too much, just enough to coat, coat the chickpeas. And then you just stir that up. You just want the um, chickpeas evenly coated. Now, if you don't want the chickpeas spicy, then don't put this on there. Um, now this recipe I also use a lot. I do this, the chickpeas in the air fryer because I'll add them to a salad and they add a really, really good crunch. So I have preheated my air fryer on um, 400. So I will put them in there for the chickpeas chicken salad. I will only um, let them cook for about probably five to six minutes for a regular green salad or something I'm maybe I'm just eating them uh, with salt on them on them then I will cook them for probably about 10 minutes until they're a little bit more brown and crispy so 
this is what it looks like when you have put I'd say it was about a half no a half cup probably of um, buffalo sauce so if you wanted a little bit spicier spicier you could put some Cholula sauce in there it's completely up to you so I'm gonna put this in the air fryer and then check back in about five minutes the chickpeas are done you can see they are there's they're just a little bit not so mushy <laughs> for lack of a better um, culinary term and as you guys know I am not a cooking channel so but I wanted to show you guys this recipe <clears throat> so what you do is you just smash them up you want most of them to be smashed you want to be careful not to over smash them because I like kind of the texture but you want probably 85 to 90 percent of the chickpeas to be smushed and this is such a inexpensive meal or thing to make even ahead of time so you can see that's how they look now and then i wrote down kind of about what how much of everything i put in so i put about um, a half a cup of purple onion now i do chop this up and go ahead and i saute it uh just for about five minutes um, because I don't like crunchy crunchy onion so I just get a, rid of a little bit of the crunch obviously if you like crunchy then you can do that without um, chopping it up and then what did I write down next okay I do a quarter cup of dill relish and a quarter cup of sweet relish so we'll put that in there And then I use, how much mayonnaise do I usually use? Let's see, four tablespoons of mayonnaise, just about four tablespoons. And this is the mayonnaise that I use. It is the Hellman's Vegan Mayonnaise. It's the, the best. It tastes just like regular mayonnaise to me. And then I put in, oh, I use about two and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard and then about two and a half teaspoons of spicy brown mustard. And again, if you don't like spicy, then just use um, about five teaspoons of Dijon mustard. But I like spicy. I like spicy everything. Then we use three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Um, what am I missing? Did all that. Oh, my dill, dill weed. You can use uh, fresh dill weed, but I don't usually have that on hand. I just use, just use freeze-dried dill weed. And this is about... Eight, seven to eight teaspoons. I love dill weed, so I put it in there. And then I'm gonna use, just to taste, a little bit of Himalayan salt, and then a little bit of pepper. I wish I had a black pepper grinder, but I don't. And that, yep, that pepper's gonna make me sneeze. <laughs> so we'll just mix this up. And what I like to do is mix it up um, at least a couple of hours before we eat it. That way it gets nice and chilled. And then, gosh, you can put this on anything, but I'll show you the bread that we're gonna toast and put it up. I love eating this on just nice toasted crunchy bread. It's so good. And this is great for leftovers. So for um, lunch, what I'll do is pack some of this, put it in my, my cooler, my Yeti cooler for the next day, go ahead and toast some bread. That is yummy. So that is probably what I will be having for lunch one day this week. And this is what it looks like. So this is just a French loaf. We are gonna take this, slice it up, and um, toast it and have our sandwiches. I'll insert a picture of the sandwiches so you can see. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of a video where I take you through my day and show you a few things. My normal days are pretty boring. I work a lot um, and I work on YouTube a lot. So, I mean, not much to see there, but I can usually be pretty productive on Sunday. So if you want me to do more videos like this, chit chats, kind of just what I typically do, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all have a wonderful week or weekend whenever it is that you're watching this. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for more videos.